Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Con. I'm Justin Tyler from Newsarama here talking to Charles Soule. How's it going? Good. How are great. you? Great. Great. How's great. your con going? The it's, image. Uh, at the at the image uh, emporium. Yeah. It's great. You know, um, San Diego is 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 the big show, as they yeah. say. It's just the most intense weekend all year, and I go to a lot of cons, and this one is an entirely different level. But it's a blast. Uh, so 27, second set, just came out at the beginning of the summer. Uh, how's it been going? Tell us about it. Uh, it's been going well. 27, as you know, is a sort of a supernatural rock and roll book um, based around all kinds of bits and pieces of rock and roll history, but it's uh, primarily concerned with the legend of the 27 Club, all the people who died at age 27, Hendrix, Kurt Cobain. Amy Winehouse actually died at Comic-Con, or the weekend of Comic-Con last year. Right there, yeah, right no! There. <laughs> During the weekend of Comic-Con last year, and so um, I'm hoping that no 27-year-old rock stars died this year, but if they do, I would like to talk about. Well, it. your sales go way up. They do. They just spike. Does, I send so. thank you notes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so, uh, oh, and that's been in the news a lot actually lately with Amy Winehouse. And then I feel like I keep seeing people talking about that. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those pop culture tropes that just. Yeah. It, I mean, conveniently for people like me with a book about the 27 Club, inconveniently for the people, um, 27 seems to be kind of a ripe age where people do go just because they've just gotten super famous and some people can't deal with it and then they choke on their own vomit and that's that. Um, but. Touching. You know, so it just it keeps it keeps cycling through, and that's why you know 27 is is a really fun, <laughs> uplifting book to read. It is though; it's exciting. It's a great time. It's not just about death. Uh, and what is what's going on in the book right now? Um, well, the book, as you said, the second trade just came out. We are serializing and also online at a site called Keenspot. You can go to 27 written out 20-7.keenspot.com. Get the whole series online there. Um, we are, you know, thinking about what we're going to do for the third arc now, which I think is going to be really exciting when we when we start putting it out. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a great time. Awesome. And um, it'd be great if you could do a book about a city or, or some kind of something about like a place on a map. Any uh, any you know, thoughts that, on that? That is a great idea, actually. And as a matter of fact, um, the next big project I have is a book called Strange Attractors, which will be out from Arkea, um, which I'm pointing at right now. They're over there. Yeah. Um, Arkea. Um, sorry, so Strange Attractors. The book yeah. will be out in the fall. It is about a basically a, a young grad student in mathematics, which again, very sexy subject. Hot. Yeah, Hot. yeah, people love it. Math and death. Yep. Um, who sort of in doing his thesis discovers that New York City should have collapsed in on itself like decades and decades ago. It should not exist. It should right. be a smoking hole in the ground. Um, and in the course of finding out why that didn't happen, he finds this old man who basically turned the city into sort of an engine and has been keeping it running for for decades ever since. And so now when the old man, when he finds the old man, the old man's like, oh my God, thank God someone was finally smart enough to figure this out so I can quit this godforsaken job, now it's yours. Uh, and so it just goes from there. Does he keep the city going? Does he not? You know, it's, it's Or does he go cool. back to math, which yeah. is where the real action is. Yeah, kids, you know. kids out there, do math. Math will get you into comics, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> great. Yeah. Great advice. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And how's the rest of the con going for you? Are you uh, out and about at all? Or are you? Um, you're... Yeah. I mean, I've got. I'm doing a great panel tomorrow night, which I'm sure this will air longer after the, uh, the show's yeah, over yeah. with. But <laughs> it's a great panel about um, sort of pitching and writing and tips like that with Cullen Bunn and Jib Zubkovich and Ray Fox, which I'm very excited about. Awesome. A couple other panels here and there, some signings for some other publishers. It, it's just a great time. Parties. You know how it is. This is the scene. Oh, I know. The yeah. scene. It's amazing. Well, awesome. Well, good luck to you, and I'm sure I'll talk to you again soon. Hope so. And good luck to you guys, and I'll see you uh, once again here at Comic-Con.